Hi, my name is John. Uh, it's good to have you guys here on the show. Glad to have you here for your battles coming up in February 14th. What the fuck am I doing here? Uh, uh, Devastator, it's an interview about your battle with uh, Scholar and Leonard's battle against Milo Fully. Yes, please. Three sugars and don't put too much milk in. Okay? No, no, no. Oi, he's talking about my opponent, Milo Fully. Yes, I said. Three sugars and don't put too much fucking milk in it. And yes, I would like the cup to be full. Please. Uh, no, no, Devastator. He's talking about his opponent in February. Milo Fully is the guy that Leonard is battling February 14th. Oh! You mean... So the guy you're battling, his name... So his name is Milo Fully? Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh! Yes. Oh! Fuck me dead! I thought you were offering me a drink there for a second! <laughs> oh god! Oh, what kind of name is that? What's his middle name? Milo Coffee Fully? <laughs> oh god! Hey, hey! Lucky his name's not Cup of Tea Fully, eh? Hey? Oh, uh, why is that? Because I don't drink tea! <laughs> Get it, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay, anyways, uh, let's just get back into this interview. Uh, so Leonard, uh, how are you feeling about your battle? Uh, I'm feeling really good about this one, John. I haven't been this excited for a battle in a long time. Uh, I'm expecting good things to come out of this one. Wow, sounds like you're ready to go. I sure am. That's amazing. That's, that's absolutely awesome. I can't wait for the footage to drop. Well, you're gonna have to, John. <laughs> You got me there. Ah! <laughs> uh, oh, heavens to Murgatroyd. Oh, oh God. So uh, tell us about your opponent and what's going through your head right now. Well, my opponent is Milo Fully. This is actually his debut battle, so I don't know what to expect from him at this very point. I've heard good things about him. I heard he's got a very strong pen game, which is exactly what I'm looking for in an opponent. I'm looking for someone I can test my pen game against. Someone that I can really, really try and push myself to be better than, you know what I mean? Like, to me, it's all about the respect and it's all about the bars. I'm not one of those battle rappers that comes in and tries to insult people. I'm not a... Devastator. Excuse me, Devastator. Devastator! What? What? What the fuck? Uh, we're trying to have an interview here, and you're snoring very loud. Oh, sorry. Was I sleeping? Yes, yes. And you have to understand, Devastator, that you are being very rude. <laughs> well, sorry, John, but you have to understand that when this fuckwit starts talking, I just couldn't care less. Oh, here we go. Oh, you just fuck do yourself, that, mate. Fuck you, you right? Right? Guys, guys, it's fine. You know, don't worry about it, it's fine, all right? Let's just move on, let's just move on. Uh, so Devastator, how are you feeling about your battle against Scholar? <sighs> Man, I don't give a fuck about this coconut, bro. The guy's a fucking typical bunner. And where did you say he was from? Uh, <clears throat> uh, South Auckland, Otara, I believe. Uh, I believe that's where he's from. He's not from fucking Otara, bro. He's not from fucking 274, bro. You know where he's from, bro? Uh, no, where is he from? He's from fucking Bunnerland, bro! He's from fucking Coconut Land, bro! Samoa, Tonga, Cook Island, one of those fucking islands, bro! I don't know which one, bro, but it's one of them! He's from fucking Coconut Land, bro! Uh, let's just move on. What kind of angles do you think Scholar is gonna use against you? I don't give a fuck what his angles are, bro. I'll tell you what my angle's gonna be. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna look him in the eye, I'm gonna say, you stupid fucking uh, That's fine, Devastator. That, that's fine. You don't have to continue that. Um, Leonard, perhaps you can give us your opinion about Scholar. Sure, John. Uh, I actually think Scholar is one of the best in the country, to be honest. He has one of the most creative pen games in the scene. Uh, one of the downsides to Scholar is his confidence level. Uh, if you notice, in a lot of his battles, he... He gives off the impression that he doesn't care anymore. And I think that could be a big downfall for him in this battle. And I believe Scholar wants to put some money on this battle. Uh, $400, I believe. It's a lot of money. Yes, that's correct. And, you know, I think that's actually really cool. It, it gives a competitive edge to the battler. That'll make the battler want to push harder and try more to win that money. You know what I mean? You got a good point there, Leonard. 
you got a very good point. Uh, one of the things I like about Scholar is that he brings an entourage with him. That's really good because he brings an entourage for people so he they can that the people have a crowd. You know, the battlers have a crowd. <sighs> Bro, the only reason he's got a fucking entourage is because he's scared. He's a gutless coward who can't stand on his own two feet. And that's the same fucking reason why he ducked all those battles. The guy is a fucking coward. I don't think Scholar is the coward type. I don't think Scholar is the coward type. Shut the fuck up. Who the fuck asked you for your opinion? And you want to know something else? Yeah, that's right. He did offer to gamble money on this battle. The guy's got a fucking family to feed and he wants to put money on the line? Typical boomer, mate. Typical fucking coconut. Wants to gamble his money away. He's got a family to feed for fuck's sake, and he's gonna gamble his money? I don't you kidding know. me? The guy not only is a fucking coward, he's a fucking idiot. I guess so what? You wanna go? You wanna step outside? Just, guys, guys. Just calm down. It's alright, okay? Oi! Four eyes! Oh, Shut up! Goodness. You listen to me, you coconut cunt. February 14th. You're fucking dead! You understand me, boomer? Dead! D E D! Dead! That's not how you spell dead. Shut up! I don't give a fuck! You fucking wait, coconut. February 14th, you're fucking mine! I just met that guy, okay? Um He was he was very rude, wasn't he? Definitely one of the most impolite people I've ever met in my life. And he seems very racist. He he seems very, very racist. I, I didn't see that one coming. No. Yeah, he was dropped on his head at birth multiple times. Well, he made one thing clear. He's definitely keen for February 14th. He is, John. He is. And so am I. You know, I'm yeah, really looking forward to Thanks a lot for coming. Uh, and that's the end of the show. I just want to say... Oh, 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 Listen, can you just get out, please? Oh, Devastator, oh, just go, okay? Just go. Oh, Listen, I don't want any trouble, mate. Listen, if you just go... Oh, my God! Please.